In this video, I'll show you what is archive log mode in Oracle database and how to implement archive uh, log mode and what is the importance of archive log mode. In last video, last few videos, we learned about online read logs. Online read logs protect your database against instance failure. So if you are using only online read log files, your database is not protected against media failure. There are entities in Oracle database known as archived archived logs that can protect your database against media failure as well. What are archive logs? These are simply a copy of online read logs before an online read log group is overwritten by log writer process. The online read logs are written in a circular fashion. There are groups. Uh, they can be several groups. In this case, there are two groups only and each group has two members. So the log writer is writing to this group to both members and as soon as these these members are full, the log switch occurs and the log writer starts writing to members of this group. So when they are full, the log writer starts writing to this group and the data is overwritten so you lose this data so the lifespan of this data is not long enough is not long enough to protect your database against media failures so what you can do you can permanently copy this data into something known as archived logs if you're running your database in archive log mode so i'll show you how to how to implement an archive log mode and how to find if your database is not running in archive log mode so what happens when you run your database in archive log mode you create you have another process archiver and this background process which is part of the memory structure runs in the background and before as soon as log switch occurs the as soon as log switch occurs the archiver process will start writing this data to archive logs so you'll have to define a location for these files for archiver process to to write to so let's connect to the Oracle database with the help of SQL plus program as sysdba and I'll say host CLS and this is how you can check whether your database is running in archive log mode or not. Select log underscore mode from v dollar database which is a data dictionary view and your database is running in no archive log mode. There's no excuse for a database to be running in a no archive log mode. Your database, your production database should always be running in an archive log mode. It is, it is something very, very important. Now, when you install Oracle database, by default it runs in no archive log mode and you should know how to check whether your database is running in uh, archive log mode or in non-archive log mode and you should know how to change it to archive. You can also use this command archive log list which can give you if I can spell it right archive log list and the database mode is in no archive mode automatic archival is disabled archive destination so if the database was running in archive log mode this is by default the destination where your archive logs will be written so I'll show you that this directory is empty at the moment so if you go to host and we can say cd backslash to go to root and then and we'll, we'll say directory uh, cd or galaxy which is this folder here and i'll say directory again there's only one folder app and i'll say cd app change directory to app and there is a directory called Oracle and then you want to go to this folder or this directory known as flash recovery area underscore area cdxe and we will go to this folder archive log cd a r c h i v e log and at the moment there's no no file in this there's no data in this so we'll go back to sql and i'll say host cls so you can uh, clearly see it and 
what you'll have to do you'll have to first shut down the instance I'll say shut down immediate you start up in mount mode only so control files will be read by the instance notice the database is not open it will be in mount mode and you can always check it uh, select open underscore mode from v dollar data base and the database is mounted not read write read write means the database is open for users now you can run the command the command is simple alter database archive log this is the command that's it and your database will be changed to archive log mode database altered and you can say alter database open to open your database and database alter you can again check your status select open underscore more from v dollar database it is read and write so the database is open to users and you can all again check select log underscore mode from v dollar data base the database is in archive log mode now archive log list the database is in archive log mode now so what we'll do we'll alter system switch log file okay so we want to manually switch activate the log switch and we'll run this at least three times we'll go to host operating system and we will again go back to archive log directory cd oracle xc cd app cd cd oracle cd flash underscore recovery underscore area cdxe cd archive log and if you look at that we have three archived log files now notice the the naming convention 269 260, 270 and 271 these were the current online redo log files uh, exit I'll say select sequence group sequence number I'll say select group number comma sequence number from V dollar log which is okay select group number sequence number from v dollar <coughs> log and these are the sequence number okay of online redo log files 271 270 271 and 272 so if i log switch once again the next archive log files will have arc 000 and 272 thank you very much